There are lots of things to consider when building your perfect eyewear wardrobe. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about all the different aspects that we think about when pairing someone with their perfect pair of glasses. So hi, I'm Robert and this is Adam. Hi. Who's joining us for today's video. And we're going to be styling each other with a unique and new eyewear wardrobe. So we're going to take you through our thought process when we're thinking of all the little details, all the different aspects, the shapes, the colors, the styles of all these different glasses to help each other start a new eyewear wardrobe. So first of all, let me introduce Adam, tell you a little bit about him. Uh, we've been friends for a few years now, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, quite a few years now. Um, it was actually through this YouTube channel that we got in touch <laughs> with each other, if I remember rightly. Yeah, I mean, I you know saw what Robert was doing for so many years on Instagram and Twitter, you know, on all different social media. And at the time, I was running a practice in central London. And I just loved that everything that the guys were doing, uh, all the kind of new eyewear, and actually like inspired me to get some of the collections that he did into my practice. So yeah, I've been a fan of yours for a long time, and finally now I'm here. And the feeling's mutual, because I really respect your opinion when it comes to glasses. Adam is someone who is amazing at this aspect. The concept of this video is that we've picked out a selection of three glasses, so we limited it to three. I personally think three is the bare minimum I could have mm. um, to kind of get by because you, you, you need at least two different looks for every day. Correct. And you need at least a good pair of sunglasses. I think that's essential. So we've kept it down to three. This is like a starter eyewear wardrobe. That's the concept. Um, not to, to say that you have to buy three pairs all in one go when you first need glasses. You know, do it over the course of a year maybe. Spread the cost out. But it should always be with this eventuality in mind of having a few different styles, a few different looks for different occasions, Definitely. don't you think? Yeah. I think, you know, so many people have in their mind that you pick one pair of glasses and that's it. Yeah. You know, and they have one style for so many years. But, you know, for me, it, you know, you don't wear the same pair of shoes every day. You don't wear the same pair of shoes for every occasion. So your eyewear wardrobe should equally be the same thing. And the right glasses, it's not just down to face shape, is it, as a lot of people seem to think. In fact, face shape has almost nothing to do with it, in my opinion. I think so, yeah, definitely. Over the years, you know, when I first started having training, you know, with Optical and Sun, you know, we were taught so much about face shape and coloration. It does play a, a little part into it, but ultimately, I think it's really important just to get to know someone and get to know what their style is. 100%. It's all about personality, really, and, and, and an individual sense of personal style as well so we've been going through that with each other haven't we you've we have. got an impression of my personality I've got an impression yeah. of your personality and we've made these recommendations based on that so let's get into it I want you to go first <laughs> tell me about the glasses you picked for me and sure. then I'll do the same for you so as we were kind of discussing you know about building an eyewear wardrobe I think it's really important to maybe a have a couple of optical options mm. and b had to have a pair of sunglasses as well. That's right. Which one should I try on first? I think, being as we're talking about sunglasses, let's, <laughs> let's go with the cool. sunglasses. So we'll start with the Gucci's. Tell me why you picked this particular pair of Gucci's for me. Ignoring kind of all the preconceptions or face shapes and things like that. For me, you know, I wanted something that was still kind of dark, so it still had quite a sharp look to it, but still a little bit of warmth to it. So that's why I've gone with like this dark Havana from Gucci. And I think for you, you know, based on, you know, getting to know you and everything, based on your style, I really feel like this would be a great part of your wardrobe. Yeah. I see these as classic and adventurous in the same breath, which is, sounds contradictory, mm. but they are, aren't they? They're kind of a classic shape and tortoiseshell obviously is quite a classic colour. Definitely. But you've got that twist to it with the angular nature of the frame and the Gucci logo, which I think is implemented in quite a cool way across the brow bar. Yeah, I think, you know, this is a great pair. It's not equally kind of shouting that it's Gucci, you know, but it's just a subtle kind of detail. You and know. It really surprised me that you picked these out out of all the Gucci collection because this is my favourite Gucci sunglass. Maybe you've out. just been watching the channel too much. <laughs> that gave you a bit of an inside scoop, but... Yeah, I, I'm really happy with these. I think they're great. So, moving on. Tell me about the other two pairs. Which one do you want me to try next? You choose. Feel free. I really like these. So these were going to be my kind of main pair, weren't they? So for me, what I was thinking is, you know, I quite often, when I'm talking to people, talk about weekday and weekend pairs. And the reason I kind of talk about that is quite often, you know, 
a lot of people work in an office, unlike us. But for that, you know, people want something maybe a bit more conservative, a little bit, you know, that isn't kind of standing out from the crowd. Mm. So, I you know, I picked this for you because, A, I think, you know, actually colour-wise, it's quite nice. And equally, you know, based on knowing everything about what your style and everything, for me, this is like a great frame for that. It treads that line between minimalism and chunky, doesn't it? Because it's kind of in between with the thickness of the frame. This is a Reykjavik eyes style and you probably know how big of a fan I am of Reykjavik eyes. I do. The most comfortable glasses in the world, the strongest glasses in the world. For a day-to-day pair of glasses, they're perfect because you've got that amazing comfort where you don't even feel like you're wearing glasses. You don't have to worry about being careful with them. There's not even any screws, so you never need to maintain them. I, I always say that if I could only have a few pairs of glasses, Reykjavik eyes would have to be in that. So again, perfect choice for me. And this is, this is the Carl. Um, squarer shape than I would normally choose. I usually like softer shapes or rounder shapes, but this is quite bold at the same time, isn't it? With it being so square. And I do quite like that. So thank you for getting me out of my comfort zone when it comes to that. No, definitely. I think, you know, that it's important because even though it's a little bit more muted and it's a little bit more subtle, equally, it still takes, you know, it's still eye-catching. And that's what's really important when I'm styling someone is... I want it to be eye-catching without necessarily be attention-seeking. I mean, it'll be a different case when we come on probably to mine because I'm probably a bit more Mm attention-seeking. But when I'm styling someone, generally I want that to be a talking point. So equally, if he's sat in the office and there's 100 people in the room, I want him to be standing out with this pair. Tell our viewers about what lenses you were going to suggest for these. So what I'd really recommend with these is to have something like the photo fusion with the jade on top. You know, the reason I would recommend that is because then it gives you the versatility. If you're going out onto your lunch break, for instance, then, you know, you don't have to keep changing over from sun to optical. You know, they'll just change, transition into a nice jade mirror. And I like the thought of having one clear, which we'll get to, one sunglass and then one hybrid, which is essentially what these would be. And I think the jade flash coating would also elevate the style of the frame because that green hint is going to tie in with the green on the inside of the arms and just really tie the whole style together. But then we were going to keep these just completely clear, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe with a drive safe lens? Yeah, so I think for you, you know, we'll keep these clear. Um, You know, I know, as I was talking about, this could be more of a kind of maybe a weekend pair. Once again, it's a really classic style, but with the frame being made out of leather, Mm. I think that's a real talking point. And you can really see that in the detail. You know, there's something different about it. And once again, it's without being attention-seeking, it's just eye-catching. These are from Luca de Stel in Paris, completely handmade and beautifully crafted. And you really feel that when you wear them. With the Reykjavik eyes, they feel great. Mm. With the Gucci, they feel cool. With these, they feel special. Yeah. So to have a pair that you put on occasionally and feel special, I place great importance on that. Some people like to get a tailor-made suit, and that's mm. something that they only wear... You know, maybe they go out on a weekend and they've got a gorgeous blazer that they've got tailor-made. It's mm. exactly the same thing, you know, with this range, you'll be able to tailor-make them exactly to what level you want. You know, you've got endless choice with them. Yeah, infinite colours, there are different types of leather as well. You, they would be really personal. Although I love them in this chocolate brown yeah. regular cow leather. I think they work really well in that finish. Also, you don't know this about me, but <laughs> I like my stuff to be worn. So like with my guitars, yeah. I don't like them when they look new. I like them when you've played with them. They look aged, they look damaged almost. With my trainers, I don't like bright white trainers. I like them to be worn. Yeah. With leather glasses, you get that worn look over a period of a few years. Yeah. They age really gracefully. And how these look in two years will be better than how they look now. Yeah. You don't get that with any other material. Every other material, glasses look worse over time. With leather, they look better over time, and that really fits in with me and how I like my things. So, perfect choices there, and I think that's a beautiful starter eyewear wardrobe for someone like myself. Definitely. Thank you. No problem. My turn. What would you like me to (laughs) try first? Well, the easy choice was the Cartiers, because Adam has not stopped pestering me about these Cartiers (laughs) since he came up north to uh, join us over the weekend but even without having seen them before yeah. I definitely would have selected these for you because they're just so glam and when I think of you I think of glam 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and, and as I was saying earlier, you know, when I style someone, I like it to be a little detail. For me, I like it just to be like, look at me, mm. you know, and that's just, that's so me as a personality. Like, it is. I, the, I just love it. The 23 karat gold just really shines out from your complexion. Yeah. And I love how, if you just turn to me, thickness of the frame makes it just that extra bit more bold. You know, you get a lot of thin wire style aviator frames where they're very minimalistic. And I think minimalistic is not you. No. I think maximalist is Adam. Yeah. Um, if it's bright and shiny, count me in. 100%. <laughs> so to even bring that more to the forefront, we've got the blue and beyond lenses, which transition from this kind of blue tint inside. Well, it's actually a gray tint with a blue mirror mm. inside to a blue full mirror when you're outdoors in the sun. And you were saying to me about just keeping it with that level of tint all the time but I'm making you have the blue and beyond <laughs> because it just gives you that extra versatility. Remember, in this scenario, where you've only got three pairs of glasses. True. We need to get the most out of each pair. That would be your hybrid pair, which is a cool pair of sunglasses and a cool pair of glasses. And I just think they're tremendous. They fit you perfectly as well. Yeah. What I really noticed, that, you know, even though it's a slightly chunkier kind of metal frame, is actually they're pretty, to me, they're pretty lightweight. Mm. And maybe, you know, it fits perfectly for me, but actually... They're not uncomfortable whatsoever. But whilst I love these Cartiers, they're actually my secondary choice. Because for everyday wear, again, I've chosen a Luca de Stael pair. So whereas my Luca de Stael were the weekend pair or the secondary pair, I think this is going to be a primary pair. I think you could wear the gold all the time, but it might be a bit much for some situations. Yeah. These are still very extra. Yeah. But toned down a little bit in the black colour. So this is a Luca de Stael finished in Stingray. But to finish off this look, we're gonna go with a tint. We're gonna go with a graduated tint we discussed in yeah. the Pioneer finish. So that's a gray green color. We also experimented with blue. We thought about it in principle, but in practice, not so no. good. So the Pioneer from 25% to zero with the anti-reflective coating was just perfect and really completed them. Yeah, I've always been a fan of Stingray leather. I think actually over the years, we've kind of even talked about it. Yeah. So. You know, once again, getting to know that person, to know that little fact about them, that I love Stingray leather, is like great choice then, you know, to be able to lead me towards this pair. Mm. And once again, just talking about like the fit is absolutely perfect. And they're so comfortable, so lightweight, you know, to wear this as an everyday pair. Once again, I think it comes back to almost how I styled you, that it catches someone's eye rather than being completely a sort of attention seeking like the Cartier. Indeed. You know, but for an everyday pair, definitely I agree. I know you're obsessed with the Cartiers. They are cool, but the teardrop shape I think is even better for you. Yeah. And to finish off Adam's eyewear wardrobe, we've gone for the Reykjavik Eyes Katzler 18 karat gold plated gold edition series. It's all about the gold for you, isn't it? it but is. you wear a lot of gold jewellery, so it's going to tie in with that. Exactly. Now these have a kind of yellowish mirror, which is fabulous, but we're going to tone that down slightly with a regular gold mirror. I think that'll just be a bit classier, personally. Yeah. But these are a pair of sunglasses that are a real statement. You love wearing your sunglasses, don't you? I and do. You wear them as often as possible, as I do, to be fair, but I prefer to be a bit more low-key. For me, you know, I, whenever I'm wearing sunglasses, like, for me, I'm very light-sensitive. Quite often find blue eyes being more light-sensitive, and that's, that's the case of me. You know, even a little bit of sunlight for me, blinds me. So I wear sunglasses quite a lot. And, you know, normally when people aren't wearing sunglasses a lot, you do want like maybe a little bit of something, a little bit more over the top because mm. you don't wear them as much. But being, you know, that is my style and that's what you've come to understand about me. You know, we've got a sort of beautiful pair that, you know, takes you out from the crowd once again, you know. As you said, it's all about the gold for me because I wear gold jewellery. And it fits in with your party lifestyle. Yeah. Because wow. you're out on your raves. <laughs> I wouldn't wear these, though. You, well, you could, because... I mean, I could. But... If you accidentally drop them on the dance floor, it doesn't matter. They're basically indestructible. So you've got the beauty and the functionality behind them as well. So a really, really cool, functional pair of sunglasses. So what do you think of my selections for you? I love them. Honestly. I, yeah. Like, for me, this is perfect, you know? As we kind of discussed, you've got kind of your hybrid model, you know, still very me. And, you know, as you've got to know me, you understand I, I love my luxury. So having Cartier, absolutely fabulous. 
And then as my kind of everyday pair, you know, as we talked about Stingray leather, I've always admired it as a bit more of an unusual leather, mm. you know, so this is my everyday pair, you know, it's a bit more subtle, but still eye catching. And then last but not least, as my sunglass. Maximum bling. Just, yeah. And as I said, because I wear sunglasses quite a lot, for me, it's important to be lightweight and comfortable. Mm. Awesome. So I think this has been a really fun exercise and hopefully it's given you some inspiration for building your own eyewear wardrobe. Me and Adam are here to help. If you need any personal style recommendations, leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, we love answering your questions. I'll forward anything on to Adam or you just ask me. We'll, we'll get back to you and we'll give you some really good advice if you need it. So if you did enjoy this video, give us a like, subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. See ya. Bye bye.